guys, today I wanted to share with you my 2015 Erin Condren planner. I'm really excited about it. This is my first Erin Condren planner. I was originally using a Filofax. I wasn't sure if I would really like the Erin Condren planner, but now that I've switched over, I totally love it and I'm totally addicted to it. And I think the reason why is because there is such a following on social media and Etsy for people creating stickers and decorating these planners. And as a project lifer and a scrapper in general, I have all the supplies I need to decorate a planner like this. And it's such a fun community to belong to. I'm really enjoying it and I am so glad I bought this planner and I'm so addicted to it now. So what I thought I'd show you is how I've been decorating it. Um, if you guys want to see more of these videos, don't forget to put a thumbs up because it helps me know what you guys want to see. So I'm going to show you the inside. Um, I went with just the plain cover. I wasn't sure if I was going to like this planner, so I didn't want to invest in the gold or silver. I can do so for 2016. I'm not going to show you a complete flip through. There are many of those online that you can see on YouTube. This is the overall of the year. I have I've not decided how I'm going to use this yet. I'm still brainstorming that. Now, my planner did come with one week of December. I totally love how it came out. I had a few stickers that I purchased from Scribble Prints Co. on Etsy. I will link her shop below. I love her shop. I got this weekend banner from her. I got these really cute Christmas stickers from her as well. And then some stickers I created myself. For instance, these cat bowls. I created myself and these email stickers I created myself on my silhouette and if you search that on YouTube you will see a bunch of people explaining to you how you can create stickers for yourself and what happens is in the beginning of December my cat Pookie was diagnosed with diabetes so we are on a new feeding schedule and insulin shot, shot schedule so in order for me to get used to this new schedule and what I needed to do I wanted to include it in a planner and believe it or not that is why I got a planner for 2015 just to keep track of what was happening with Pookie. I also have three other cats and it can get really really crazy schedule wise with vets and appointments and all that stuff and feeding and purchasing food and I was kind of losing track of things around the house as far as cleaning and when I do my project life videos and when I don't so I really needed to you know, focus for 2015. I needed to get myself organized. And as crazy as this may look to some of you, this has totally changed my life and has helped me keep on track for the beginning of 2015. I am so excited about it and I am so glad that I am doing this. Just another thing that I'm keeping track of in 2015 is my water intake. This hydrate stamp is from Studio L2E. I am terrible at drinking water so I need to improve that for 2015 and this has really forced me to drink water. I mean you can see on this day I only had 16 ounces. That's terrible. Um, so I have to improve on this and when I see it down in my planner, anything, cleaning, having to do specific tasks, having to drink water, it forces me to really do these tasks. So it has really helped me in so many ways. So this is how my first half week for December turned out. Now this is my monthly view. I have not utilized this either. Basically what I've been doing is if an appointment comes up, for instance, I have Pookie going for her insulin checkup on the 13th. I will put it somewhere in the vicinity of that day. So when I decorate that week, I remember to include that appointment. Okay, this was my first week of January, end of December into January 1st. I had such a blast decorating this. I totally love how this came out. And I'm just going to point out a few things. I heat embossed, guys. Yep, I'm guilty. I did it. <laughs> I put heat embossing and gold embossing powder 
in my planner. I'm probably one of the only people that's ever done that. It doesn't add too much bulk and it is so cute. It says keep calm and glow on. That's a stamp from uh, Hero Arts and I just put it on cardstock, cut it out and ran it through my Zyron mach sticker machine to create a sticker. I kind of tried a different method of keeping track of Pookie and my other cat's feeding schedules and insulin shots. I'm keeping track of my steps with my Fitbit, which is really important. I have at least 30 pounds to lose in 2015. So I'm looking forward to keeping track of that and just all the tasks that I have to do. And what happens is when you're a stay at home for any reason, it's so easy for the day to slip away from you. And like I said, now that I'm actually listing everything that I have to do within a day, it is keeping me so on track. I am loving it. And this road washi tape I've been using for for any time I leave town, anything over a 20 minute drive for me, I'm gonna use this washi tape. And as an overall look for the week, I can tell what days I'm needing to leave town and grocery shop or do whatever, because I live in a really small town and it's at least a 30 minute drive to anything reasonable. <laughs> so I wanna keep track of that as well. This is the second half of the week. Uh, one of my favorite things on here is these little plate stickers that I got from It's Planning Time, which is my favorite sticker shop on Etsy, and I will link that below. I also love this little sock sticker. That's actually from Sticko. It's these stickers here. I used this one here. I cut it down and used my Copics to color it in to color coordinate with the week, and I think it turned out really super cute. And again, I am keeping track of hydrating. This was the only day I completed and I was so happy I did it. I wish I could do that every day. And just another overall of things that I had to do like boxing up my Christmas decorations and getting things put away. Otherwise, they would have sat out for probably a good two more weeks before I decided to do it. And I'm going to show you the beginning of this week. I actually plan by day. I know that may sound a little crazy to some of you, but I don't like to have to redo things or rip things up and change them. So I'm actually enjoying every night before I go to bed, I sit down for 20 minutes and I finish up the current day of everything that I did and I finish up the following day of everything that I need to do. And I'm really, really liking that a lot. This week I am trying a different method for keeping Pookie's food and insulin shots on track. I'm still keeping track of my steps and my water intake. I'm doing that as well. Um, I love the way this came out. It says sleep in because my husband has finally learned how to give Pookie her insulin shots so I didn't have to get up at 5.30 to take care of them that morning. So I was really excited that I got to sleep in. I use these really cute silverware stickers that I had in my stash for keeping track of my Weight Watchers meals, and I'm really loving how this is turning out. So really happy with this, guys. And I just wanted to show you one other thing. I put this Project Life card in here that says be you and don't ever stop. I love it and it goes really well with the theme. I used an Erin Condren clip to clip it in there. But one thing I noticed is that at the end of this month, this card is gonna get tossed out or put aside and that clip is gonna get wasted and they're quite expensive. So being the crazy Project Lifer that I am, I decided to take out a Becky Higgins Design H page protector and I cut down two different pockets. One is a three by four, and one is a four by six. And basically what I'm going to do for next month is I'm going to attach an Erin Condren clip to these, and then I can clip these inside my book, and I can insert cards as needed, four by six and three by four, and then switch them out each month so this way I can have them and only use one clip in the process. Now I'm sure I did not come up with this idea. I'm sure I'm not the only one that's done Project Life and then had an Erin Condren planner. So I wanted to show you what my idea was going forward with the Project Life cards that I wanna include in there. And I love this because I can use Project Life list cards 
and I'll show you the one that I'm going to include in this. Okay, for this here, I'm going to add this to this week's spread. It says more and less. I wanna keep track of some items I wanna do more of, like hydrating, watching what I eat, uh, taking more so time for myself, and things that I wanna do less of, like drink less carbonated drinks, which I'm pretty much doing really well at because I have done that in the past before and hadn't had any issues. Less junk food, uh, less television, and more quality time with my husband. So I'm going to use this card here and I'm going to add an Erin Condren clip to it. I'm going to attach it in my book so that I can easily flip and see. And then the following week when I wanna change it, I can just take it out and put in a new one. You guys know I have thousands of Project Life cards, so I'm at no shortage whatsoever. And that was everything, guys. I hope you enjoyed this. And please, if you wanna see each week spread, I can do a short video on each week once I complete it and show you kinda how I decorated it and what I did for the week. And if you're interested in seeing those, please thumbs up this video and it'll help me determine if I'm going to continue sharing my Erin uh, Condren spreads each week. Thanks for watching guys. Bye.